Absolutely, Jenna, I am speaking. So let me introduce to you right off the bat. It's Malaysia over here, and she's got joining her our two beautiful daughters, Nadia and Michaela. Michaela is, is currently hating me right now because <laughs> I, I killed her name initially and I killed her age. <laughs> Michaela, you're five, Nadia, you're seven. I got it right, right? <laughs> I got this? All right. Now, Jen, the, the biggest thing, one of the uh, importance of this event is to highlight how uh, the Aid Clinic helps people across Metro Detroit with legal issues. Malaysia suffered through one of them when her two beautiful daughters were taken away by her ex. Malaysia, that must have been one of the hardest times in your life. It was very tough, very tough, exhausting, and I finally made it through, and it was thanks to God, thanks to the William Booth Legal Aid Clinic. I couldn't have did it without them. I had a, a great team, Amy Roma. She was really good at her job. She kept it very professional, but she also made sure that I had she would email me, answer my emails right away. And that helped a lot because being sick, sometimes you don't get to those deadlines, you know. And I made sure everything was done on time because she helped me, you know. No, and, and they played a, a you know an instrumental role in bringing your your kids back. <laughs> but you know before just off camera, you were telling me how your ex took your kids to at least two different states. Yes. You didn't even know they, where they were. I didn't know where they were. I didn't have a phone number. He changed his phone number. He changed his address where I last knew him at. Um, he he was off social media. He was like off the grid for a while. And you used to work as a nurse, so you were financially yes. strapped as well. Yes, I was financially strapped, and he used that too. He extorted me for money. He wouldn't let me talk to my children unless I sent him money. He wouldn't let me see them, FaceTime, anything. So it was really hard, and it was like whenever he reached out because I couldn't reach out because I didn't have any contact information. It took a lot. It really did. When the clinic stepped in and you got your kids back, well, can you describe that moment? Oh. I was ecstatic that I even had get, gotten a call back because I had called so many different places, so many lawyers, so many family um, attorneys, and so many different just legal services just to get consultations or any type of where to start. You know, I didn't know where to start. So soon as she called me back, I was like, oh, what? Someone called me back, you know? So. <laughs> that was a good thing, and that was a blessing from God. So I really, I really, really appreciate the William Booth Legal Aid Clinic. That is just absolutely amazing, Malaysia. Th you know, thank you so much for sharing that with yes. us. I know your girls want to go back and get some their oh, yeah, painted. They so all the best for that. They've been hawking it down. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, just like Malaysia, the clinic has helped close to 1,800 people. You know, with their legal yes. issues. This, that's why Walk for Justice, one of the key events, and the proceeds from here, go to the clinic. Jen, back to you. Faraz, you hear those personal stories and it's so clear why this walk matters and is so important.